Hey guys, welcome back to Down on Movies. I'm here to do a quick review of Me, Earl, and the Dying Girl. Um, it is a movie that is basically about this guy named Greg. Uh, he is a senior in high school. Um, basically, he spends all of his time with his buddy Earl, uh, just making parodies of his awful movies. Uh, some, t some good ones also, but he's just basically making parody movies um, and trying to spend his whole high school career just kind of coasting through, not having to worry about uh, pissing anybody off, being friends with anyone. He just kind of goes on his own way and hopes to kind of just be a loner all the way through high school. Um, and then he befriends this girl, uh, his mom forces him to become friends with this girl who uh, gets diagnosed with cancer, um, and he gets forced into it and basically goes, hey, I'm being forced to be your friend, so let's just deal with it. Um, and then over time, becomes best friends with her, falls in love with her, um, and it's basically the story of them kind of being in their doomed relationship, almost like uh, 500 Days of Summer. It's like you know the relationship won't end well because that's just what it, you know, they even say that's not going to end well, uh, but it's just kind of getting to that point. Um, and basically it has Thomas Mann, our, uh, who plays Greg, R.J. Side, uh, Seidler, who's Earl, Olivia Cook, who plays Rachel. She's in um, the Bates Motel. Uh, Nick Offerman, Connie Bright, uh, what's, uh, what is it? Uh, Connie Britton, Molly Shannon, uh, John Bernthal is in it. I mean, some uh, really amazing people, and um, I really enjoyed it. You know, I think it was better than I thought it was going to be um, because it's not like Fault in Our Stars was just super depressing all the way through. They try to use lots of humor in it, um, and it's uh, and it's fun humor. It's not anything that's going to be like, oh wow, this is a cancer movie and you're sitting here laughing about it. It's like they don't really poke fun at cancer. It's just trying to cope with your emotions when you're just trying to be a loner and, lone and be with yourself, you know. Um, or when you're those people that uses your humor to try to be around every situation, you know. Um, and I think the acting was really good. It, it made you feel for all the characters. And I actually, and the music was really good. The parody videos were just awful that they do, but really funny as well. Uh, so I highly recommend it. If you want something a little bit different or just to give a chance that you're bored, want to watch something, uh, I give this one a shot. So thank you guys so much for listening. Make sure you check out me, Earl, and the Dying Girl. Um, and this video is also brought to you by Nervous Pretzel. So when you get a chance, do go check that out. The link will be down below. It's just some amazing drawings that are for sale, char uh, charcoal drawings of different uh, horror icons uh star wars characters uh david bowie's on there and uh you can message her and probably get um some something you want as well but just make sure you go check it out and let them know down on movie sent you so thank you guys so much for listening and we'll see you in the next video take it easy